Hello. One and all. Today is Wednesday and it is a very quiet Wednesday for myself. I don't know how your day has been going. I'm just going to click in. It's Wednesday and it is a very quiet Wednesday for myself. I don't know how your day has been going. Okay, so I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Are we ready? <laughs> so, hi to anyone that's watching. It's the Midnote Raven. It is a very nice, pleasant, sunny day outside. I am indoors, once again, live streaming for you guys. So if there's anyone around, do feel free to say hi in the comments. Foxes, Signal and Pool. Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming to my channel. Hey, best friend. Hey, TJ. Hola, amigos. I'm guessing that's Spanish for hi. I got on a limb there. Hey, best friend, how are you? If there's anyone that wants to come on and come up as well, you can say hi and come and chat with me. I'm quite happy to, to load you on my stream. I don't know how many will turn up today. I do have a tendency to stream on a Wednesday afternoon. It has become my thing to stream on a Wednesday. At the minute, I look like a cross between an artist and a poet. Uh, I don't know what everyone else thinks of my outfit today, but I'm kind of rocking the artist poet looking kind of look, I guess. The artist poet look, maybe. Um, it does kind of look artisty um, and poety, uh, to be fair. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm coping. You know, life goes on. I'll be fine. You know me. Strong. Strong in here. I'll carry on. You look adorable. Oh, all for five seconds. <laughs> Took me five seconds to look this good. Just imagine what I could do if I had time to look good. Yeah, but like this getting five seconds. Just imagine if I had all day, you know. Oh, look amazing. <laughs> hey, Christy. Hey, how are you? Hey to Resla. I'm on my way to work again. Darren Resla. Thank you so much. Kisses to Resla. He's a really good supporter of mine. I just can never stream when he's around, which is a shame. But thank you for coming, though. Hey, Jeanette. Hi again. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> thank you for this morning. It was an awesome stream. It's good to reminisce about the good old days of wrestling. If you're new here, Foxes and Signals, do feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Back up. I watched Tazy Dale build a cigarette guitar box. So fun. I need to get my ticket. Yeah, he is spending so many hours doing that guitar box. Oh, my God. Bless him for that. He spent so many... Did you see his hot dog challenge last night as well, Steph? Did you see the hot dogs? You have a cheese and onion sandwich. Ooh, do you watch The Walking Dead? I haven't for many, many seasons. I watched the first three seasons and then I stopped watching because it went to Sky and I couldn't watch it no more. Hey, oh, I did. Yeah, I felt for him. Oh, my tummy. Oh, I do lovely. Midnight Raven already did. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm rocking the poet look. What do you think? I'm rocking the depressed artist like slash poet slash drama queen. You know, like the drama person you get that sits in the back directing a stage or something. I look like one of them, I think. Directing a, a musical, maybe, or a theatre production, maybe. I want her a theatre look today, you know, like the whole directing a theatre look. I've gone for the whole black kind of get up. I kind of like it. Yeah, if you're wondering, my moderator is no longer around. 
he's disappeared and abandoned me, so off with his head. Yep. Chris is no longer a moderator, and he's no longer going to be coming to my channel, which is fine. I'll get to him. <sighs> Thank you for supporting me. Yeah, do like um, and subscribe to everyone in the chat. Do check out their channel. You. You do look like an anime person right now. Yeah. I kind of do. Yeah, I'm feeling it. All I'm missing is gloves now, which I actually do have black gloves. So. I could rock the anime right now with gloves and I could look like Tifa from Final Fantasy. I actually have some. Mm. I'm hoping I'm doing it proud. I mean, do I look good? Do I clean up well for five minutes? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's two o'clock. I'm meant to be streaming. Five minutes worth of work on me and look. Like a portrait. I believe I look like a portrait. I'm hoping I look good. I do try to look good on YouTube, but you know. Get the sun right in my window to go on my face. <laughs> Yeah, no one ever noticed I had really long hair because when you look at me on the camera, my hair cuts off. But when actuality, my hair is actually this long. Yeah, Vlog was saying the other day, he was like, oh my God, your hair is so long. Are you right, Midi? And it was like, well, you don't see all my hair on camera. It cuts off. So when I kind of shoe my top the other day and I shoe all my hair and he was like, oh my God, you have such long hair. And he's like, I didn't know that. And I was like, yeah, my hair's like this. And he was like, oh my God, you've got lovely long hair. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And he's like, I've never seen it on camera before because the camera cuts off my hair. I've got a question. Was Wi-Fi discovered or invented? That's a good question, TJ. Do you know the answer, TJ, or is this just open for debate? I'm guessing it was kind of invented and discovered. To invent something, I'm guessing you have to discover something to invent it. So it's like a bit of both, I'm guessing. I'm guessing to invent something, you'd have to discover something. Or vice versa, to, to, to discover something, you'd have to invent something, maybe. Nope, I don't know the answer. Fair enough. I, well, I'm guessing if you invented something, then obviously you discovered something. To invent something, you need to discover. But also to discover, like, how to turn a light bulb on, you'd have had to invented something to do it to then turn it on so you would have technically invented before you discovered or vice versa i think that do yeah yeah maybe i did try um i did come to your stream the other day tj as well it was a very interesting stream nonetheless <laughs> I, I thought i'd check your stream out tj good job they did really Morning, MV Motard. MV Motard's in the house. Hello, MV Motard. Wow. Good morning, Raven. Well, thank you so much. It's actually the afternoon here. It's actually half past two in the afternoon. But if you're waking up, then good morning, Motard. Wow. I haven't seen you for a bit, Motard. How are you this morning? Am I looking good today, Motard? We're trying to discover whether Raven has style. At the minute, we're rocking the anime poet director look. I see you in there. Yeah, I did. I did come and see you, TJ. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Oh no worries, Raven. Um, no Raven, no worries, Modard. Yeah, people are busy, 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 busy. Just because I've got all the time in the world to live stream doesn't mean everyone else has. Steph, are you back again? Hey, Steph. 
How's everyone else today? Anyone doing anything fun today? You know, any fun, fun, fun. My life isn't exactly the most funnest in the world. I have four weeks till I go on holiday. Oh my God, I cannot wait. It's like one, two, it's three and a half weeks. Three and a half. Mm. We're counting down, Steph. We're counting down. I have three and a week, three and a half weeks. I go on holiday. You never left. Oh, okay. We've got three and a half weeks till holiday. Holiday. Nope. Work. Oh. Everyone has work. I've done a ton of housework since finishing my life. Oh, good for you, Jeanette. Technical Polly. Hey, everyone. Hey, Technical Polly. Don't know if I've seen you before, but if I haven't, hello. Got the good ones here. Are you hard working today, God? As always. I loved your new video you put up. I think that was kind of cool. Just hanging out, still in bed. Ah, oh, Steph, you're still in bed. It's all right for some. I've been up for hours. <laughs> no fun, Raven. Oh, is no one having fun on this Wednesday? God's in the house. Ruby slippers, no fun. Is anyone having fun today? Has fun gone on holiday? Has fun left the building? You know, fun's left the building apparently. No one's having fun anymore. What happened to fun Wednesdays? We should make it a thing. Fun Wednesdays. Fun, fun Wednesdays. Fun, fun Wednesdays. Nope, no one bringing Wednesdays back. <laughs> God has arrived. Yes, God has set to grace me with his Did you see my 4,000 viewers song? Are you talking about the one you loaded the other day? Which song? Is that the new one you put? I'm having dinner, then back to work. Oh, busy, 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 God. Work in heaven never stops. You're cutting your lawn later. Wow, TJ. You really know how to have some fun. <laughs> wow the fun never stopped at tj's house <laughs> you might see my face is a bit red i did a makeup video a minute ago and my face is a little sore come off a little bit red from the makeup i don't know whether i've had a bit of a reaction to it but it's a little bit sore It's called 4,000 Views, I think. Okay, I'll have to check it out, God. Thank you for being here with me today. <laughs> we need to bring back fun Wednesdays. What happened to Wednesdays being the midweek lull? Isn't it? Wednesday is the midweek lull. It's the day you're like, uh, it's Wednesday. You know, do I really have to do Wednesdays? Like, can we just skip to the weekend and just, can we just miss Wednesdays and just skip right to Friday? Would be cool. Don't play in front of the kids. Don't play in front of the kids. Oh, okay. Okay, God. I, I'll check it out. It's called 4,000 views, I think. Okay. I will, um, I will try and find the video. But not in front of the kids. Listen to God's song. It's hilarious. Yeah, did you like his new one, Steph? I thought his new one was really cool. And I love when he plays, you know, um, you know, just acoustic and you know, oh, I love acoustic sounding music. When it gets to Wednesday, I'm always pooped. Yeah, it's a midweek lol, isn't it? Emily! Mwah! Kisses to Emily, birds in the house. My moderators are out in force today. Jeanette, best friend, and Emily, all my moderators except for one are here now. Where are you, Bottle Caps? We miss you. Bottle Caps is my other moderator. Um, I did have another moderator, but he's now since been banished because he doesn't come to my streams anymore. But yes, someone asked me, that. can you wear your mask while listening? <laughs> can I wear my mask? 
Oh, my mask is, is still in its wrapper. Ooh. It, it, it's very, very precious to me, the mask, God. I'm going to buy one of your T-shirts as well, God. And then I'm going to wear it in, a, in one of my videos when I get it. You just got home from college. How was your day, Emily? If anyone wants to come on here and, and have a chat with me for a bit, do feel free to come on. Did you see Bottle Cap's graveyard video? It is eerie. That's the only word I can use to describe it. Oh, I so want to say there are paranormals going on in his graveyard. But, and then it's like, ooh, admitting to the paranormal is kind of like, admitting, someone brought one already. It wasn't me, God. I have to get paid first, but I will buy one. I'm happy for you, God. Yeah. We need a hashtag thick as shit t-shirt. Me and Steph would rock that t-shirt, wouldn't we, Steph? We want a thick hashtag thick as shit t-shirt. I would definitely buy that one. Yo, Jeanette, finished for summer now. Oh, woo! Emily, it was in the USA. Wow. Someone over there likes got. Wow. I don't know how it'll do. Well, yeah, get my tongue in. I don't know how it'll go down over there, God, but I'd certainly wear one around here. Did you get your guitar back yet, Em? Weren't you getting your guitar back today? I will do one. Yeah, me and Steph already will already buy one of them when you do it. And 10 points for Jeanette. Ding. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. We want a hashtag thick as shit. Because I've come first and I've come second. So, I, I mean, I've done pretty well, to be fair. I mean, I've come first and second in the God's Quiz. So, you know, I won the religion one. And then the one about God which was last week's one. I've only known God for like four months and I managed to come second. Like, amazing. Explain that because I can't. Got your guitar back. Lucky, lucky. She got her guitar back. Congrats, Em. You love today's outfit. I love the sleeves. Do you want to see the whole outfit? Slippery, look. Yeah. It looks like this. It looks like this. It's kind of see through, as you can see. It's like see through. That is just my top underneath. It's not connected, but that's what it looks like. We're rocking the poet slash director's look. So what do you think, Slippery? Is it good? Yeah, do you want to come on mine now, Emily? Do you want to have a chat, Em? You like it, huh? It's a very nice top. I've had this top for many, many years. Many, many, many years. We're rocking the, the kind of, oh, Drama slash director slash musical director slash um, poet, maybe. Maybe a, a poet of some description, you know, someone who's like jamming, maybe jazz looking. I don't know. I just threw something on. <laughs> I got some clothes and I was like, eh, I just wear that one. Hey, Gem, I missed your stream by like five minutes. How are you today? I was going to join your stream and I missed it, Jem. TJ's back because he just can't get away from me. I'm like a magnet. I draw you into the midnight. Oh. Emily, 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 Emily. Just in case you're wondering, Ruby, Emily. I'll just get the washing and then I'll be on. Woo! Emily's going to be in the house. Good, thanks. Had two try. Oh, no. The one time I'm not there, Em. Um, Gemma. Bugger. I'm sorry, Gemma. 
I'd been on Jeanette's stream and then I had to have some lunch because I'd die. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, Gemma, that I wasn't there to moderate. I'd literally been on Jeanette's stream and then I needed to have, we'd been streaming for three hours, so I needed to have a drink and a break before I then streamed my own one today. So I'm sorry, Gemma, about that. I'm sorry, Mister. I should have been in there moderating you, and I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Gem. Forgive you. Yeah, Jeanette, just before you got there. Yeah, I was going to join, but I got there like just art. Uh, you literally just finished. Hey, Fifi. How are you today? Fifi's in the house. Everyone's in my house. We're all in Raven's house. One called Antichrist who told me I'm burning in hell. Ooh. He should have told me that. <laughs> I'd burn in hell. Antichrist. Hmm. <laughs> I'm burning in hell. Wow, at least Alicia warm down there. I mean, I quite happily be told I'm burning in hell. I take it as a compliment for myself. For me, that's a compliment. Telling a goth to burn in hell. You're like, mate, I'm already going there, so. <laughs> and one called me a retard. Oh, no, that, that's across the line. Burning in hell is just silly. But retard? No. Just ignore them, Gemma. What you should do, Gemma, is if you're going to go live, go on Twitter and tweet me that you're going to go on and I, I will come and save you and join your stream. Because I don't get notifications on YouTube all the time that you're live and the same with everyone else. So if you tweet me and say I'm going to go live or follow me on Twitter, Gemma, you can tweet me that you're going to go live and I'm more likely to get that notification than I am the one on YouTube. Yep, yeah, delete them. Yeah, nothing better to do. Exactly. Don't let them get to you. Yeah, if you tweet me on Twitter that you're going live, I'll get that. Or you can private message me on Twitter and I will get that compared to using um, the notifications on YouTube because you don't always get them. Yeah, I got my ticket for hell one way. No coming back. Feel free to call me Gem. Oh, okay. As long as you don't mind me shortening your name, like I shorten Emily's to M. Yeah, you can always message Jeanette as well. Do you ever have people come on a stream that makes you feel uncomfortable? How do you deal with it? To be fair, I've never really had many problems with trolls. I mean, my, my stream's been pretty much troll free, to be fair. Um, I've actually been quite lucky, Slippery Fish. Okay, Jem, that's fine. I finally have my schedule match up with you. DSW's in the house. Woo! Hey, DS. Oh, DSW, I've missed you. Where have you been? Your schedule sucks. <laughs> Literally sucks. Oh, my God, he's in the house. My sinuses are playing up as well, so you'll have to excuse me. DSW, I've missed you. Oh, you were here like all the time and then your shift and then, oh, it just went downhill from there. Do excuse me. Today, my sinuses are playing up slightly, so you'll have to bear with me. As you can say, I'm like bloody Rudolph. Hey there and everywhere. I know. Our schedules just never coincide. It's been so long, DSW. I've missed you. I did see your comments you've been leaving. On my videos, though, thank you for that, though. But unless they are rude or out of order, I just watch them very carefully. Yeah, I do. I kind of like. I can't say I've had many trolls, and the channels I moderate as well. I can't say that they've had many trolls as well. I moderate a couple of channels, like I moderate um, Eagle VPs, I manage um, SMCPs, I manage my own. Um, I'm a moderator in Gemma's. I can't say I've had many trolls to deal with. Uh, the first time I was raided, I was like, ah, what is this? And then I found out it was good. Yeah, I've never been raided. I want raided. I want to be raided. Night Shame should raid me because I've never had a raid. I think it'd be pretty cool to be raided and fun. 
Hey, Lil B. Buzz, buzz. How are you? Always with the buzzing. I have a bee phobia, but I like this bee. I'm actually allergic to bees, so so lucky I, I have you in here, little bee, because every time I hear the word bee or buzz, I'm like, oh, drives me crazy. Raiding is pretty fun. Yeah, I'd love to be raided. Someone needs to raid me. <laughs> Someone raid my channel when I'm live. That would be awesome. Hey, uh, we'll have to arrange it. Yeah, raid my channel. <laughs> Get Night Shame to raid me because he's so cool. Or um, anyone, to be fair. You've been raided twice. Oh, I needed to be raided. My goal in life is to be raided by a channel. I think I've actually done pretty well recently. My YouTube channel is, is going up and up and up. I don't know how many subscribers I have today, but I know I'm getting there. Um. I have 672 subscribers. 672. And when I get to 700, I'm doing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Giveaway at 700 subscribers. So we are at 672. So we're like 28 away. And then I'm going to do a giveaway. So when we hit 700, it's giveaway time. If I ever had the opportunity, I... Oh, thank you. Thank you, slippery fish. Ironing is so boring. Do you know what I do, Emily? I don't iron. I don't iron at all. Mm -hmm. Never, never done it. Ever. I dropped three this morning. Oh. Yeah, I got six, 672. So I'm like 28 away. So the minute we hit 700, I have a giveaway coming. I have a giveaway and I'm going to do a makeup giveaway this time for all my lovely girls that I have on my channel. It's going to be a makeup giveaway. So anyone that's into makeup, it's going to be an awesome makeup giveaway. This makeup giveaway has been in the pipeline for a while and it is superb and it will only be at 700 subscribers. So do, do check that out when it happens so the quicker i get to 700 the quicker we have a giveaway hey that's not my name girl hey honey hi how are you i don't iron ear when all your clothes are black you don't really need to iron no i don't iron they're all black so i don't feel the need to i may raid later my next goal is to be a certified troll <laughs> well it's good to have things to look forward to that's why I wear black clothes, especially black t-shirts. Everything of mine is black. The whole works. Your name's Brittany. Okay, I'll call you Brittany then. I don't mind calling. It's hard to remember people's names, you know, like 600 and something now. But I do my best. I can't believe I've hit 576. I didn't think I would hit 500. Well, I, I mean, I've kind of stunted between my 5 and 6. And now I'm stunting between 6 and 7. But all in good time. All in good time. Hey, slipper. Hey, this old stone is in the house. Woo. When I found out your jeans are more valuable and unwashed, I was like, woohoo. So he was like, yeah, I'm never washing the jeans again. I love you, Midnight Raven. Raven. Ah, no worries. Spelling. <laughs> it's all right to call me Raven. Raven. Wow, we have 12 people in it. This is like this is like top bill for me. I don't think I've ever had 12 in. Thank you to all. Oh, you're stuck on 563. Oh, bless you, M. Well, my 672 has been coming for a while. It's getting there. But I have so much content coming. Oh, my God. My, my laptop is like full of videos I've done that I haven't loaded yet. Um, and I've got song requests that I need to get done as well. I got song requests from SMCP to do Let It Go. I got a song request from... Let's have a look. Song request from Emily to do Never, Never Enough from The Greatest um, Showman. I've got Let It Go by SMCP to do as well. So I've got two requests to do as well. For my smell songs. 
So if anyone else has got any requests for Smule songs that they want me to do as covers, basically, um, I cover the song by singing it. It then goes to my channel, and then I, hey, hazy days, big thumbs up. And then um, when I've done the song, your name gets put in the title saying that um, you asked for it to be covered. And then you also get a link in the comments to your channel as well. So it promotes me and you. Hopefully our band will help us grow. Yeah, hopefully. That is why it's hard. Oh, Raven, you are in my first shout out video. Is that already up, Gemma? Do I need to watch it? Has it already been done? Yeah, I haven't done any shout outs yet. I'm going to do a shout out video very soon now that I have many, many subscribers to choose from. I'm going to shout out some good channels. But yeah, stay tuned for my shout out video. I haven't done it yet, but I will get to it. Um, but like I said, there'll be a giveaway at 700 subscribers. And it's going to be a makeup giveaway. So all my lovely ladies, stay tuned for that one at 700 subscribers. We're currently on 672. So as soon as we hit the 700, we will do that giveaway. Hopefully it won't be while I'm on holiday because that would kind of suck. Because I couldn't do it, but <laughs> we will see. I got three in a bit week. It's just a picture of your channel with other people. Oh no worries, Gem. Any publicity is good publicity. It's on your channel. Okay, I'll check it out after this. Shiny. I love Moa. You love Moa. Is that the film? Moa's a film. Is that the new? Is that one of the latest Disney films? Isn't it Moa? Do you have a favorite song from that? You need makeup bad. Well, you have to join my giveaway at 700 subscribers because it is the most gorgeous prize in the world. All my lovely ladies this time. I mean, I've done other giveaways before. The first giveaway I did was makeup. The second giveaway I did was an Amazon gift card. And now I'm going back to makeup for this one. Yeah, it's a Disney film. Shiny. So the song's called Shiny. Yeah? I'll have to um, write it down in blood because I have nothing else. I don't even have a pen. Oh, it's called Shiny, yeah? Is that what you're saying? Disney film. Can we get a pen? So is this, the song's called Shiny? And that's from That's Not My Girl. Okay. And you want a song from Moa. It's about a crab. Okay. I will certainly look that one up. I haven't actually watched that film, but I will definitely check it out. If excuse me a sec. Hey fever. You have beautiful hair, do I? It is kind of long, look. Woo. My hair's like this. What do you think? That's what it looks like when I don't have my hat on. Do you still like it? What do you think of my hair, Fifi? It's looking a bit lifeless today because I've had my hat on. Normally it'd be a bit bigger. You've got summer. You've got summer cabin fever. Oh, me too. My hair is stunning, is it? Many years of looking after it, that's what it is. You've just got from the poster something from Wish and everything. You can bring it here. Okay, bring it here then. Ooh, parcels. I love it. Oh, thank you. I do love my hair long. I absolutely do love my hair long. What's 
in here? Ooh, we got a parcel. Should I get a pair of scissors? I can open it off on camera. Woo. Uh, I have a parcel. Uh, yeah. Everything five pounds dot com. Thank y'all. I have a parcel, people. It's from a shopping thing called Everything Five Pounds. I might open it on camera. Ha give me a thumbs up. Give me um. Uh, tell me in the comments if you want me to open my parcel on camera. I believe it's got boots in it. I believe I've got some really cool boots in there. Your hair is short. Oh, I did have long hair until just before Christmas. Oh, unfortunately, I didn't see your hair at Christmas. Oh, fender box. It's got boots in it. I'm sure I bought some boots. Hang on. <clears throat> didn't plan this, you know. Posty just bought my box. <laughs> Who wants me to open the box? We... Emily, do you want to come on? And then I'll open the box. Do you want to come on, Em? Open. Open the box. Look at this. The box. Do you want to come on, Emily? Well, I'm six pounds off it. Sorry. I was on the floor. Yes, I have a few vlogs with long black hair. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Did you want to come on in when I open the box? Uh, open. <laughs> open. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay. Let me just add Emily. Hang on. Let me just send Emma a link. Can we just send Emma a link? Whoa. Emily and Ivory. Do, 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 do. You don't know what you just typed. Yeah, you just typed like loads of random words, yeah? Okay. Okay, Emily, I sent you a link in your Twitter. I can't find my bloody Hangouts now. It disappeared. Where's my Hangouts? There it is. I lost my broadcast for a minute. <laughs> Once we get Emily in, we'll open the box. Open the other one first, the wish one. Okay, yeah, I'll just open this one because I'm bored. Hey, awesome gaming addicted. Thank you for coming. Really thank good. you, Alex. I know you've only got like a minute, but thanks for coming. Hi. Hello. I'm just opening this really naff present because it's boring first. And then I'm going to open the big box, which is totally unplanned because it's literally just turned up. Oh, wow. It's my thing from Pei Young. Pei Young. UK doesn't sell anything decent. I have to buy my ship from Japan. Like, how cute that is. Aww. That's my new fruit bowl. Look at that. It's like the most ornate fruit bowl in the universe. It's made out of plastic. Look. Isn't it cute? It's cute. It's cute. But that's the rubbish part. Now this, now this is interesting because I, I am sure they have the most gorgeous boots in the world in here. I am assuming they are in here. Everyone ready? Uh, safety first. Open the box. I would normally do a video, but as it's turned up now, I thought I would open the box. Open the box now. Gonna be my go oh, it's, it's boots. Oh, it's boots. I know it's not the time of the year for boots, but bugger it. Who buys boots in summer? But not me, actually. 
Oh, wow. What else have I got? Have I bought two things? I bought two things because I'm an idiot. What did okay. I buy? Oh, I bought a dress. Jesus, didn't even know I bought it. Hey, Awesome Gamer. Where are you from, Awesome Gaming? I bought a dress. What size is the dress? Hang on. What did I buy? Is it a jacket? Is it a dress? What the hell did I Wow. Jesus, didn't know I bought that. Uh, Don't you love it when you buy stuff and you didn't actually know you bought bloody things? Oh yeah. It turns up. It's a size 12. Look at this. Woo! Yeah, my dress is like this. It looks like this. The actual bottom is like this. It's really gorgeous. It's kind of 1960s style. It's got the floaty bit at the back. Look. Kind of cool. It's hard to show the bloody thing. It looks like this, Steph. It's got kind of a 1960s rocket chick kind of rocket bella going on. Really cool. It's for my party I'm going to. I'm going to a birthday party, or I might take it on holiday with me and look absolutely stunning in it. So what do you think, guys? Doesn't it look cute? It's like a rocker like a rocker bella kind of thing. It is pretty. I'm just hoping it fits me in that because I'm like Two centimeters tall. It's not gonna swamp me. Because that's the thing, they never put how long the dress is. They're like, oh, it's for a UK sized, you know, eight to ten, ten to twelve. But then when you get the dress and you're like, Jesus Christ, what is it for? Someone who's like six foot tall. They don't generally account for short people when you buy stuff. They never put all oh, the dresses so long on that side. I wish they did. Because I bought dresses before and because I'm so short. I end up having to buy boots just so they don't drag you across the floor. <laughs> so my dress is kind of cool, but I've got some boots. Oh. I'm sure they're boots. Are they boots? Where's the bloody yeah, ticket? Is. I boot. lost the size ticket. Six. Are they boots? Yeah, boots size six black. Ooh, I, I love new shoes. I love the smell of new shoes. Mm. What did I buy? So that was a dipped hem skater dress, apparently. It was only a fiver. Hey. It's, a five, it's everything five pounds. Look, everything five pounds. And then this one is suede at knee high boots. Oh, I got knee high boots. Ooh, look, hey. it's from shoe Where it says shoegeeks.com. I actually got it from everything five pounds. You can always take them up a little. Hey, juice my randomness. Oh. Hello, I saw you on hashtag I am a creator the other night. I'm stalking you. I saw you twice <laughs> in one night. Mm. I literally was following you around the other night. I literally saw you on, like, I saw you on the hashtag I'm a creator stream. You were on the Uber Goober stream as well. I've been stalking you, Juice. Literally stalking you. <laughs> He's in every stream I go in at the minute. Oh, knee-high boots, ladies. Oh, oh. I wonder if they're like my other ones I bought recently. Oh, 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 look at these. Oh, they look so nice. Oh, look at my boots. Back down. Oh, they look so nice. Oh, I love the smell of suede. Oh, they are my new, they're my new boots. Look at them. Oh, they look so nice. I love suede. Absolutely adore suede boots. It's and with the fact they're only a fiver, oh my god, so cute. Hey, Juice, five pounds. Yes, five pounds. Yeah. Everything five pounds. Oh, god. I got my boots, Juice, which are really cute. And I got the world's most gorgeous dress. Look. Right, I'll see you later. My Rockabella dress. My all that fabric look and they only charge me for a fiver like it's so cute juice and it's double sort of thing it's higher at the front um and longer at the back so it looks like a rockabella and just imagine that with these boots <laughs> not not that i have a shopping addiction juice yeah i will always be doing a live show twice a week with uber also a brand new show i'm a whore well i'm stalking you <laughs> i'm stalking you juice because i, I don't have a life <laughs> i have nothing better to do than sit and watch youtube that that's my life youtube does the marshall 
and quality feel and look good. Well, I mean, I have bought, you'll like my other boots I've got, Juice. Look at these ones, Juice. I bought these a couple of weeks ago. You're going to die when you see it, Juice. <sighs> these are one of my prized possessions, and they came from the same website as this. See, look, advertising, sponsor me. <laughs> now these are the most gorgeous boots the world has ever seen and i've never worn them yet yeah, gorgeous boots never worn them look at these oh. and their quality of them and they were they're from the everything five pound site That's just five pound and they've got a plastic bottom and they're knitted and they are so comfy and i've never actually worn them out of the house because i don't want to break them <laughs> i was like oh they're so cute oh, but i've never worn them <laughs> they are so cute and for the fact there are five i absolutely love the bloody side but i've bought so much stuff off them half of them i don't even wear because i'm terrified to wreck them i mean I do have a very bad shopping addiction. Oh. What pair? What pair of boots? Oh. Oh, one? These ones also, look, they are cute. There you go, there's another two pairs. Look at that. Cute. My, I have like literally like a boot collection. It, it's addictive. Oh, it's and they're so cute, I don't even have to tie laces because they have zips. I don't even tie up. I'm so I don't even have to tie my own shoes. I'm lazy. This <laughs> is fake. Um, and the other pair I bought, which are the newest pair, which aren't even here, are these ones. They're my new brogues. They're the latest pair that I bought. More suede. If you don't notice, I like suede. <laughs> All my boots are just suede. It's so cute, but I own so many boots. It's like a habit now, and I can't actually stop shopping for boots. It's not even boot weather. I don't know why. But look, I'm an addict. Look, I have more, more of them. These ones, hi. These ones are cute. See, more suede. <laughs> These ones are suede. Look. My whole house is just full of boots. My partner will have to move out. <laughs> I never used to own shoes. I used to own, when I was a little girl, I used to have two pairs of shoes. I used to have what we have, smart shoes and trainers. And that was it. You were allowed two pairs of shoes and that was it. No more. And now look at me. I've got my own shoe shop. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jeanette. I know, God. I mean... I'll just have to kick him out, you know. Get another shoe room. <laughs> just make some suede boots and maybe one will buy them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you buy me some suede boots, I'll be happy. <laughs> I mean, I don't have an addiction. It's just, <laughs> I love the smell of suede. The smell of it and it just, it's just so warm. Let's have a look. <laughs> God, I hope my I hope I'm not too bloody short. <laughs> no, my leg, I'm short. <laughs> they don't fit me. I'm too short. They're not made for munchkins. Oh, look at them bad boys. Oh. God, they're tight around my leg. <laughs> I heard you got your guitar back, Emma. The guitar fairy has blessed Emma with her guitar. Woo yep god you did your good work today emma got her to guitar just let you know <laughs> yeah god just make me some boots god just just send me everything five pound you, you i want to be your affiliate Sponsor me everything five pounds. You should see the amount of shit I've bought off them and promoted them. I deserve to have a sponsorship just with the amount of stuff I've bought recently. My entire holiday last year was funded by everything five pounds because that was the only thing I bloody bought. <laughs> it's 
all I bought this year as well is just things from everything five pound for my holiday. Because I'm so cheap, I don't feel the need to pay for really expensive stuff if um, I don't need to. And I don't see the point of paying high rise prices to get the same exact stuff. I'm a cheap date as well. <laughs> Everything's cheap for me. I don't pay for anything. Yeah. yeah, if you love cheap clothes like me and you're a hoarder, go to everything five pounds and just buy everything and tell them Raven sent you. <laughs> <laughs> just promote me. <laughs> Promotion <there you> go. <laughs> uh, there you go, Juice. What do you think? Look, my sexy legs. Oh, my sexy boots. Look at them bad boys. Woo. Look at that. Look, Woo. they are absolutely to die for. It's so cool and they're so soft. They absolutely fit me. Woo. Woo. I'm so happy when you buy shit offline and you're like, I oh, know it'll fit me. Yeah, and I actually get it and it fits, and I'm like, oh yeah, awesome. So I have cool new blue boots, cool boots. Ah, oh, that was like so unplanned for my stream. <laughs> he was like, oh, your stuff is arrived, and I'm like, do I open it on camera? And everyone's like, yay! I've lost the bloody lid. Oh, good go, and I've lost the lid already. Oh, one lid down. So cute though. And my dress just looks to die for. Oh, it's a size 12, though. I'm wondering if I'm going to look like a heifer in it. It's too big. But, oh, I love the colour, though. My next stream, I'll wear it in my next stream, and then you can see it on. I'll do a little twirl for everybody. Because I'm a twirly whore. I do anything for YouTube views, even twirling. <laughs> I hope everyone like shagging boots. <laughs> that's not, well, that's not the description, God. <laughs> the description is suede at knee high boots. I suppose they missed the part where it's called shagging boots in the in the maybe it's in the description. Hashtag wear these while you shag your partner. Maybe <laughs> they could be my new slut slut boots. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> I don't think personally that wearing knee-high boots is, is really um I don't know if you could shag in knee-high boots. I mean they weigh a ton. They're not the lightest boot in the world, to be fair. I, I didn't buy them because they were light. I bought them because they look nice. Um, but I will let my partner know of, of your option for my boots, God. I will definitely throw it out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey Donna Shaw, the Donny Shaw show. Ugh, I can't get my words right today. Slipper fish, I uh, rock, I mean angry song. Urgh. Guilty. Why are you guilty of him? Ooh, he's guilty. <laughs> I'm like, it's me. It's me. <laughs> Oh, my chat is moving so quickly. I've never had so many people type. You were triggered by the language, Slippery Fish. Do you not know God the Good One? He He's not really, um, he's not really kid friendly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they are. Long boots are definitely shagging boots. Well, I remember that. Next time I bear a pair of boots, I will bear in mind the length of them and how shaggable they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can die. Literally just die from this, can you? Yeah. You like my boots, God? Yeah, you You can shag in them, you know. It's like, well, I hadn't really thought of that, to be honest. When I bought them, I thought I might wear them to a party. But, you know, I suppose... It'll save my boots just sitting in the corner, you know, when I'm not partying. I, I could be shagging in them. So double usage. Get my five pound worth there. Woo. Again, sponsor me. Five pounds. 
I've bought like a hundred items off your store. I deserve to be sponsored now. There's so many videos on my YouTube of just everything five pounds. I actually did one recently with some clothes I bought for my holiday. So you need to sponsor me. <laughs> I need to be affiliated. I know it's only five pound an item, but you know, girl can buy more. <laughs> you want to play us a song, Emily? Says Slippery. Uh, I don't know what song to play. <laughs> Slippery, you, 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 you're stunned, hunt. Next year, you're out. What? No! God, the good one. You're in a racy mood this afternoon. I think I'm going to have to age rate my stream. That's like the first time in history I've had to age rate it. And that's even with vlog jokes. <laughs> I mean, his jokes sometimes get a bit... Like I've never had to age rate it, but I think the fact you put dogging, swinging party and shag boots in my comments, I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking of Austin Powers. Shall we shag now or shag later? <laughs> this w what have you done you're my moderator dsw have some decorum <laughs> i'm gonna have to get a mod to moderate you in a minute dsw oh. say smoke on the water what wow it's only 10 past three in the afternoon and God's talking about shagging and, and swing parties. Well, how naughty. I know. God, behave yourself. Although Ruby did slippers, did say earlier that I have a place in hell, which is kind of cool. Gemma, unfortunately, was being bullied and they told her that she should go burn in hell. And I said, that's all right, Gem. You can go burn in hell because I'm already there. You can join me. <laughs> and Ruby was like, yeah, she's already secured her place in hell. I was like, I didn't know there was a queue, to be fair. <laughs> We're all queuing to get into hell, apparently. Thumbs up, man. Not the worst thing you could put on here. I don't know. Dogging, swinging, shag boots. I mean, you. I mean, it's definitely 18 plus. <laughs> <laughs> Pick God for a mod. I don't know about God for a mod. I, he can't contain himself. How about other people? <laughs> what did I walk into? Stephanie Douglas. I have no idea. <laughs> I opened a box <laughs> and, and unfortunately it, it had shag boots in it. It didn't say in the description. It, it didn't say that. I'll have to take them back and say, excuse me, they do not say shag boots on here. Apparently, they're shag boots, is what I was told. <laughs> don't ask, don't ask, Steph. I have no idea. I was having a nice, quiet stream. I opened a box, and then it just all went to shit. Pretty much. <laughs> I told you Wednesdays were going to be fun, whoever came in my stream. Everyone was being a little bit boring earlier and going, Wednesday's not really fun. I'm doing washing. I'm doing ironing. I'm going to work. It's like, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> You're all miserable. Like, come on. I heard it, Raven, never talked over, but I did hear you. Did hear what? Yeah. <laughs> Look, when I'm practicing, I'm like, and if I mess up, I'm like, I did not, God, I did not get kinky stuff out there. Boots, boots, <laughs> boots. Stephanie, look, they are just boots. There is nothing kinky about that, is there? It's a boot. Look, kinky? I think not. Hey, look. There you go, Stephanie. There's the offending boot that will be ever shaming my channel now. They're my kinky boots, apparently, Steph. 
Either that or it's just God that thinks that. Possibly just God, to be fair. See, I knew I knew it'd be a bad idea opening the box. Everyone said open the box, and I was like, no, bad idea. You want to shop on that website now? Well, you go to this website, <laughs> and you tell them the Midnight Raven sent you. And I believe that... Um, I believe I can give you a refer a friend code as well, Juice. So you get referred by me as well. I'm not actually sponsored, but I can actually put a referral link in my description. And when you go there, you'll actually get some off juice. Be the first time I've ever used it. But I do have a refer code for my friend. And you get like a percentage off for shopping. Yay! self-plugging there i've never used it I've, I've i've been shopping on that site for like five years but i've never used my code to really put it on there to be fair so keep your legs warm <laughs> stephanie oh my god getting worse what happened well, i'm gonna go for a bit because i've got to go and help the dad put the shopping away and i'll be back later okay um no worries and i'll see you all later it was fun even if it did get a bit you can blame God for that. Yeah. And no different, no, no, my problem. I just opened the box. <laughs> Never again. Knee high is naughtier. It'll keep my legs warm, yeah. Heck do ya, I love shopping. Yeah, if anyone else wants to come on and join my party, feel free to come on. I can send you a link. You didn't make the rules, just saying. Are you sure you didn't make the rules, Steph? She did a haul vid, did she? Oh, Kathy's in. Oh, sorry, Kathy. Oh. Kathy, I apologize for the language in here. I'm sorry. Just went shopping yesterday and did a haul vid. Oh, cool. Definitely check it out. Later, DSW. Do they ship to the US? Um, I don't know. I don't know if they ship to the US. I can sure find out if they ship to the US. Let me have a look. You sit there a minute. Everything back ends. Yeah, this in a promotion video, it's just that I happen to be opening a box. No judge here. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Um, shipping. Here we go. We'll check the shipping. If it really bothered you, hard mod, but while you are blushing, you're not bothered. Now, it's perfectly fine. Who do we deliver to? Okay. Um, Stephanie, they currently ship UK and worldwide. All customers. Um, yeah, they do ship worldwide. All countries we deliver to outside the EU due to our current... Uh, 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 so they do ship internationally, if you check out their site. Um, and I actually do have a refer a friend code as well that I can put in the thing. What's up, Beatrice? Hey, Timo. I actually do have a refer code, so I can put that in the... Um, video once it's gone up and you can check it out so if you come back to this video once it's gone up stephanie i will put my refer code in the um description Sorry. and then you can use that to go to the site with hey guys bye guys i had a good day at school with you wondering guys okay. mm -hmm. right, i'm going okay. now okay sweetie Have fun. okay darling it really bothers. Okay. Uh, no worries. I would never want the status of a judge. Laugh out loud with Christians, I think, fully for mercies every day. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. I didn't want to. Um, I did get a little bit blue. I miss. But yeah, if you want to check out everything5pounds.com, which is where my boots came from. Mm. 
And these lovely boots came from there. Lovely boots. And then my gorgeous dress. My gorgeous dress. Look at that. See? My gorgeous dress. Cool. Which I'll be wearing in my next stream. So check that out. You'll definitely want to see the next stream because I'm going to show my boot boots. I'm actually going to wear my um my dress in the next stream I do. I've been seeing some really awesome videos lately. Who from Slippery? I love stripes as well. It's like it's called a skater dress, so it's basically like a rock rockabilla one. If you know what rockabilla is, kind of a rockabilla dress. Think of like 1960s rock thing. It's kind of long in the front and in the back, and it's like this, and it's really cute, but it's so big, I can't actually show it, but it is really cute, and I'm going to wear it in my next video. I'm going to wear it in my next stream for you guys, and I'll do like a little twirl. It'd be so cool. Who's been doing some nice videos lately? Well, I was looking at a video right now of people playing with molten lava. Okay, that's interesting. I love stripes too. Yeah, it's got to be the right stripes, the right thickness, and the right color for me. Okay, thank you, DSW. Mwah. Kisses out to you, DSW. Thank you so much. Exactly. That's what I was thinking, Stephanie. Like, what? Like, are you serious? We did really well today. We've had like 12, 13 people in here. It got really good. I'm so happy for. Thank you to everyone for joining me. Whoa, bring it up a bit. I watched a video of a reporter reporting a story about a giant Jenga tower recreating the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And during the interview, he knocks the tower. Oh, oh dear. I never, I need to convince Jess to record a couple of videos before she leaves the camp. She'll be going for nine days. Oh, I miss her so much. Oh, my son's actually going away for four weeks over the summer, and he's going to be 16 by then. And he's going away for four weeks while he goes off to his um, NCS kind of camp retreat uni slash fun. Are you still in here, Juice? Did you manage to... If you're still watching, Juice, and you're still in here, Juice, my randomness, did you um, get any more people for your consent out of the Uber Goober um, interview you did? Oh, she's in Tampa. Oh, cool. Yeah, my eldest is going away for four weeks. Um... He's going for four weeks. He's going to an activity centre week one. Week two, he's at university um, prep for uni. Um, he's going to be staying in the university for a week while he preps for college. So it's all good. Oh, it is a long time. I also watched a video about how rats can swim through the sewer, into your pipes, right into your toilet. Did you know that a rat can build, hold its breath for three minutes? Wow, you are a head full of knowledge, Slippery. No, Michael, but it's a Tampa project, but Jess is tenant will be aware. Bible camp, but I won't say where. Bible camp? Oh, I didn't know they did things like Bible camp. Um, obviously, not being a, a Christian myself, I'm an atheist. Um, I didn't know they did Bible camp. Wow. Still fun to learn to get away from home, though, at any age. Lawn bubbles. What's lawn bubbles? signs kind of interesting yeah if anyone has any song requests for smule do leave them in the comments and i will try and get to them my laptop needs cleaning i will try and get to them and do some songs over the coming weeks 
So if anyone has any song requests, just give my laptop a bit of a clean. One of the buttons is looking a bit tired. Yeah, if you have any song requests uh, for Smule, put them in the comments below. And when I do the video, you get your name put into the title and you also get a link to your channel. So it makes it well worth picking a song. Any genre, any type. I can do country, jazz, normal, rock. I'll try anything once. Also watch the video showing the infinite chocolate trick. You have a lot of time on your hands, Slippery. <laughs> I will do a proper um, video of my dress and of my shoes, so don't worry. I will do a proper video on that as well. Once this stream has finished, I will do a video where I open them properly and show them off in all their glory. So stay tuned for that. You watched a video about how hippos poop. You have a lot of time on your hands, Slippery. <laughs> Where do you find this slippery? Is this in the dark corner of the web? And that's all I watch pretty much. You just watch random videos then. Pretty much just random videos, yeah? The randomer the better. Well, I was watching all three last night while laying in bed. Yeah, I love random YouTube videos. Yeah, sometimes you the, the random ones are kind of the coolest. Hopefully not too random. He saw that on the dark chocolate web. <laughs> Hey, this old stone is back. Welcome. What is everyone's favorite YouTube channel? The Midnight Raven. No, I'm joking. <laughs> ah, no, I'm kidding. My favorite YouTube channel. Hmm. That's a hard one. My favorite YouTube channel. Ooh. Um. Black Friday. It's Black Friday would be my favorite YouTube channel. Will you sing Happy Birthday by Martina McBride? Yeah. Okay. Let me put that down. On my list. I have a list. Okay, so this is from Miss Kathy. And just see. And you want me to sing Happy Girl by Martina Muck. Right. Yeah, and basically, once I've sung it, you then get your name in the title saying that uh, the request was by Kathy and Jess. And then in the description, I then put a link to your channel, which kind of gives you a bit of promotion as well. So I have Let It Go by SMCP Reviews, who's uh, uh, asked that one. So it's like the Frozen song. Um, Never Enough from The Greatest Showman from Emily Bird. That's my that's not my girl wants me to sing a song from Moana, the Disney film. Miss Kathy and Jess want me to sing Happy Girl by Matina McBride. So I have one. And Kaylee Rebel wants me to sing Roger Rabbit by Sleeping with Sirens. So I've got one, two, three. I've got five songs to do. There's going to be a long, whew, long time doing them. So I've got five so far. Here yeah, I sang it in Nashville. Oh, happy girl, not happy birthday. Yeah, happy girl, sorry. I was reading it and I was like, oh, happy girl. I've written that down. Patsy Houlihan. Wow. Oh, my God. Patsy's in the house. 
Can you sing Polly Wolly Dooley all day? Patsy, the greatest puppet show on YouTube. Check Patsy Houlihan out. I love your show, Patsy. Don't think you've ever been here before, have you, Patsy? Are you new here, Patsy? Your favourite video is Cat Fail Sale. Now, if you're not a moderator, unfortunately, you can't put links. I was watching Zach Morris is Trash with my husband, Saved by the Bell. It was such a messed up show. Yeah, it was. Oh, my God. Saved by the Bell. Reliving my childhood there, Stephanie. Living my childhood. Yes, well, hello, Patsy. I didn't know you knew me. Patsy, your channel is awesome. Patsy is the best puppet show on YouTube. I um I met you in the um creator stuff, Patsy, in the hashtag I'm a creator stuff. I love Zach. Oh. Looks like some cool shit. Looks like some cool stuff, Patsy Houlihan. I love Patsy. I used to love watching Say Bar the Veil. Oh, I used to. Oh, oh, that brings back some memories, Stephanie. Some, some truly lovely memories of Zeke. I think I'm going to have to binge your stuff. Oh, binge Patsy Houlihan. Yeah, binge watch her. Have you seen the video about how Daniel San is the real bully of Karate Kid? No, I haven't. I can't believe Patsy's here. Oh, Patsy. Mwah to Patsy. I love your outfits, Patsy. I love your outfits. You have good fashion sense, Patsy. A bit like me. I love my fashion sense as well. You'll laugh your head off at Patsy. Yeah. You've been doing this for seven years. Wow, Patsy. I've been in the business for 18 months ish. Good morning, Broke Neck. How are you? Welcome to my stream. Yeah, check out Patsy Houlihan. She is the best puppet on YouTube. She's funny. She's well dressed. She's awesome. Yeah, definitely check her out. Miss Cat Patsy Hulan is a lost treasure and needs to be discovered. Yes, Patsy needs to be discovered. Her dress sense, she's so funny. How many people in the chat wants to still do YouTube until they die? I don't know until I die. At the minute, it's kind of just fun for me. No one pulls my strings. Yeah. I love you, Patsy. Mwah. How is everything? Big fan productions. Hey, thank you for coming back to my stream again. We're having an awesome time. We've we've unboxed my box that I had. Mystery unboxing. I didn't know I was gonna have it, and I got my new boot boots. You've been around since 2000, randomness. I've been around since 2010, transitioning my channel over 10 years. Wow. That is dedication, Kathy. You don't plan on dying. No, Patsy Houlihan plans to live forever. Patsy Houlihan will outlive us all. Exactly. <laughs> oh, but thank you for coming, Patsy. I'm really privileged to have you here. I love your channel. It's it's just so awesome. Gotta love Patsy. Can I help you? What, what can I help you with? Oh, dear. Basically, on the way back, I think we go to the park. We have a friend about it. And then you can go to the park, by all means. Yeah, but like, what am I going to do? Sit there? Take your ball down then. What's the point of that? Because it's a park. Yeah, but what's the point of 
Thank you, Bulldog. Well no, Karen, can you read that? Karen, go to the park with Talon, please. Me too. He you but you no, plan on living morning. forever, don't we all? New way to keep well. up myself practicing music. It's working well. Oh, good for you, Stephanie. Same here, 2007. I never want to stop. Yeah, it is fun doing YouTube, isn't it? Hey, little man. Hey there. Hey there, young lad. What YouTube does he enjoy? What YouTube do you enjoy? He's a gamer. He's a ga he's a gamer. He loves gaming channels. So if anyone's got a gaming channel, this is the boy to watch. He watches all the big gamers mainly, like Jack Septicai, Jelly Slogerman, Jelly Slogerman, Crabble Carp, um, PewDiePie, maybe a little. No, he also likes Daz games. Don't you? Daz games. I have my own cool. YouTube channel just to say. He has a YouTube channel. You can follow him at Bronze Hazard. I will leave a link in the description. Mom, if you take a ball to the park, someone will hang with you and you will make a new friend. Oh, <sighs> his brother's going to go with him in a minute. I've been on YouTube. <sighs> About 18 months. Mom, it's two it's years so in October. Of your channel, your passion. Yeah, will he be starting? He has his own channel, Juice. His name is Bronze Hazard. The old stone. Yeah. Has a game and channel so party. what is the soul of your channel? What is your passion? My passion is being me. My passion, Patsy, is me. Being me, so, being true to myself. Promoting stuff I want, stuff I like. Basically, my channel's going through like a phase. Um, I'm a goth, Patsy, so my channel is kind of various. Yeah, that is spelled properly, just to say. <laughs> yes, it is spelled right. It's Bronze Hazard. Um. I have a teaching channel. Oh, cool. That's good. Tell him to vlog, vlog, vlog. I wish he'd started at his age. Imagine all the uh, memories to capture. Yeah, he, he does a little bit of YouTube and now and then he has got some content on his channel. All I'm waiting um, for is my mom to get me a um, camera for the PS4. So I'm live yeah. through the PS4, but you, yeah. can, but you can see me stuff. Haven't put any videos the up God for a while. The life is in. Does better than this Mommy, one. Good cell up life content. is in here. The good cell life is here. Thank you, Talon. Hey, good oh, cell I life. I said God. Did life. you ever see my goth episode? It's called All Goth Things. No, I didn't, Patsy. Oh, all goth things. Okay, I'm gonna check it out, Patsy. I'm gonna write it down. I've got a list of stuff here that people want me to check out. So, Patsy Houlihan called All Goth Things. Okay, I'll check it out, Patsy, after this stream. You're my new best friend, Patsy Houlihan. Mom. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to do a shout-out video, hopefully by the end of the week. Mom, you need this. Yes, that's fine. You um, need them. No, that's fine. Hopefully by the end of the week, I'm going to do a shout-out video. And mm -hmm. they're going to feature my 10, possibly my 10 top channels, maybe some more, depending... Um, so I'm going to give some channel shout outs, hopefully. Yeah. It's great. Her channel is going crazy, I think. Yeah, I love her channel. I love all the channels, all things goth. Yeah, definitely going to check it out, Patsy. Crazy Day started my design on my merch. Ooh, I love some good merch. Ring your, I ring your bell. Oh, thank you, Patsy. Mwah. Kisses to Patsy. This old stone, I appreciate it, put a lot of time in. Yeah, I hope everyone loves my channel as well. My content is really varied, different, and I've got so much content coming. Kieran, go with him, please. What your face? Oh, no, you're getting kid at me. You need some of that cream Kieran's got on your face. Kid at me. You're getting spots all down here. Go look in the mirror. Yeah. 
I'm thinking about dropping the fish from my name. Why? Yeah. You're just going to call yourself slippery. I like the slippery fish part. I like the fish part. It's just I, being got I like slippery fish. I ain't got spots. I like slippery fish. All right. Thank you, Miss Kathy. I will do that song and I will post it as soon as I can. It'll probably be posted probably over this weekend. But I will get round to it. I like the slippery fish part. I like slippery. I like slippery fish. It's just my personal preference, slippery. You can call your channel whatever you like, to be fair. I mean, I've seen some really funny channel names. I'm a fan of the fish of the band Fish. Oh. Yeah, slippery fish. You can call yourself whatever you like, slippery. Maybe do a poll on your fish. channel and see how many people like it. I like it too, Slippery. Almost changed mine to Spaced Out Stoner, but not going to change it. Oh, okay. Hello. You... Kieran, he wants to go. He wants to go. So go get your shoes on. Go get yourself ready. You've got to take your uniform off, though, please. Go get changed and put some trainers on, and then you can go. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, you did say you were going to change your, change your name, Spaced Out. Or name yourself the cocktail slippery fish. I do like slippery fish. It's got a nice ring to it off the tongue, you know. Hazy days, ranch jams, slippery fish, God the good one. They've all got very strong names. Are you British? Yes, I am from the UK. Where are you from, Patsy? You're from the US, aren't you, Patsy? Is there a cocktail called Slippery Fish? Slippery Niffle, I meant. <laughs> slippery Niffle. Oh, definitely going to have to 18 rate my stream today, Juice. <laughs> Between you and God and some others. Age restricted. <laughs> slippery Niffle. <laughs> You're in upstate New York. Wow, Patsy. Fancy living for a puppet. Never heard of that one. Fish nipples. <laughs> Fish nipples. Yeah, I'm I'm from UK, Patsy. Do I sound English? <laughs> this old stoner makes me laugh. Do I sound from the UK? Do I sound posh? I'm a Pelham puppet made in the UK. Oh, you're British pup. Yeah. UK puppet, nipply fish. Nipply fish. <laughs> Slippery. Nipply fish. <laughs> Are you sure you want to sure you want to discuss changing your name, Slippery? They they seem to be going off course slightly. It's funny though. Some Americans got confused between British, Australian. Oh, okay. No, I'm definitely from England. I'm from England. I'm from Norfolk. I'm common as they come from England. Suddenly my current name seems perfect. It does, doesn't it, Slippery Fish? <laughs> Who needs to change their name? The Midnight Raven's never going to change. My name will be Midnight Raven until the end of my channel's existence. I will always be known as the Midnight Raven. Yeah, it doesn't seem so bad now, does it, Slippery? <laughs> You're from California. Sweet home, California. Ooh. I know it's Alabama, but I changed it. California. Mm -hmm. Upstate New York is totally different from New York City. Yeah, I bet it is. Californication. Yeah. Hey, Gerald Thomas. Midnight and all. Hey, Gerald. How are you? How did you find my stream, Gerald? Do let me know if you're new to my channel, how you found my channel. I do love to know where you come from. Earlier, we had some people come in from Rant Jams. I've had people come in from Green Bay Wacky's channel in other streams that I've been joining now. I've now joined um, Green Bay Wacky's stream this morning. He did an awesome stream with Brenda G. 
So that was kind of, and Cab 7 was there as well. So that was kind of fun watching that. I'd never been in, um, haha, they sing that way too much. They do, don't they? I hear of James Cotter. Did you? What, the Rant Jam's um, parody one, do you mean? I'm sure I met you on Uber or Jeanette's. It would have been Jeanette's or Eagle's because um, I've only literally just become friends with Uber. I had that some you, but the people in the chat seemed nice. Hmm. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Oh. Yeah, I'd never been on Goobers at that point. Um, I'm not tall. I'm tall. Yeah, it was either Eagles or Jeanette's I met you because I had, I think it was on Eagles. I yeah. didn't touch the door. The door. I think it was on Eagles because I hadn't been on Ubers at that point. I've only been a fan of Uber for like the last week and a half. I did like your um talk on consent on there, Juice. Mummy. How's your consent video coming? Can you tell Kiri now? Kiri, he's ready. He's ready. He's got. He ain't got his shoes on. No, but what are shoes he's ready? He's just laying in there. Kiri, come on. He loves you in Trinity game. I hang out in James's stream so I get the joke. Yeah, me too. I I used to hang out in there, but I don't anymore, Stone. I, I'm not in the hashtag. I'm a creator. So if you're here for hashtag creator stuff, then you're, you're in the wrong place because I don't do it anymore. When my dad buys me chocolate from shopping, win. I want some chocolate, Emily. I want some chocolate. Awesome sauce. I am a creator 2.0. Mm. I'm not into the hashtag. I'm a creator stuff. I don't think it works. There's no. What's the point of having a big channel when you don't have people watch your stuff? I'd rather stay with my little channel. And as you can see, I am on like 672 now or something stupid. I actually don't know how many subscribers I have. Do you know why? Because I haven't checked. <laughs> I haven't checked today. Should we see how many I have? Because at 700, we're doing a giveaway. We are on 673 today. I've gained one extra supporter in this stream, which is so cool. If you haven't already, do slap a like on my stream. And do follow me if you haven't already. Do subscribe to me. It's, it's looking so good. I've had 28 people so far. I've had one more today to go quite complete and schedule for upload. I still want more people in it. Yeah, did you get my one, Juice? I did send one. I had to back off to we all need to be ourselves. I'm now Patsy Hulahan. Hashtag Patsy Hulahan. Oh, you left as well, Patsy. Yeah, I left too. I wanted my space. Yeah, you're safely nested between 27 other people. Yeah, I just wanted to check you got mine. It was a bit rushed, um, but I did it. Safely nestled between 27 and 24. I'm so glad I'm in it, Juice. It's a very good cause. I kind of grew too fast. Empty subs for the most part. A few great people actually like my stuff. And I met lots of creative people that inspired me. Well, that's cool. I got a little culty. Mm, yeah. I thought so too, um, but I got into trouble when I voiced my opinion. That's why I left. So I couldn't voice my opinion. Apparently, um, you have it's like a one mind syndicate. So I left because I I voiced an opinion. They didn't like it, so I left. Basically, I like the various communities are cool. I just don't really want to have specific titles in my video. No, I don't do the hashtag thing. Have to go now. Okay, Stephanie, thank you. Mwah. What does everyone think of my channel and my streams? Is everyone liking my content? 
Let's get some feedback while we're here. Who likes my channel? Hands up. Me. I like that five minutes of fame. It gave me a platform to talk about consent. Yeah, I did see you on there, Juice. I don't know if you noticed I was in the chat comments. I did say, yay, Juice is on. Raise awareness. But apart from that, so many rules and false followers. I don't like things being forced. No, me neither, Juice. I did see you on there um, talking. Um, I did put in the comments, yay for Juice, but that was only because you were on Juice. If not, I probably wouldn't have even been in there. This old stone is here, so my content has to be good because stone is in the house. Love your channel full of variety. Consent regarding what? Yeah, Juice My Randomness is doing a video on consent. Um, he's getting a load of YouTubers to make a two, three second video. And all you have to do is say no means no in it. And it's about raising awareness on consent. Like, if you're too drunk, you can't consent to having sex. Um, if you're stoned, you can't consent to have sex. If you're asleep, you can't consent. And it's all about consent and, and promoting the whole issue of um, consent. I am grateful for the friends I made through them. And one person is getting most of the goods there. Yep, exactly, Patsy. You're, you're on the same lines as me, Patsy. That's why I left. I really enjoy your channel and your honesty and your laid back attitude, but you also put effort in and you support without preachy. Yeah, people can like and subscribe to me all they like. You can unsub, you can dislike. My channel is free and easy. That's why I have such a laid back attitude. Yeah. So if you if you want to do one slippery, um, juice my randomness. Um is doing the the whole consent video and it's basically to raise awareness on consent for people like um many years ago i had an incident where my consent was taken away from me on three separate occasions um and that's why i've done it because i feel so strongly it's more of a pyramid scheme for the tool yep definitely is a tool well said stoner Patsy's a Patsy. Patsy's channel juice is awesome. She's cute. She's funny. She has lovely clothes. She's really cool. You should definitely check her out, um, Juice. Definitely check out Patsy's channel. Yeah, anyone that wants to be in the consent video, you can message Juice My Randomness and all you have to do is a two or three second video saying the words no means no. And you'll be featured with 27 other YouTubers who have also um, done the video. They have um, different YouTubers, different languages, sign language in it, and it's all explaining the, the, the different ways of no means no. I have a playlist already in a tab. Going to start with season one in a bit. Ooh. You're welcome, Carl. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was going to send, but I didn't know where to send it to, Juice. I can't promise there isn't any some creepy stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of puppets, but Patsy's the best puppet. Yeah, if someone wants to send a no means no video, um, there is um, his email address in the comments. And all you have to do is email him a two or a three second video saying the words no means no and send it to him within hopefully within the next day or so would be good so that he can edit it and put the video together. That would be awesome. Juice My Randomness also hit 1K in my live stream a couple of streams ago. So he's on the 1K bandwagon now. Oh, no worries, Steph. That's fine. Yours was perfect. You were so natural, Midnight. Yeah. No means no. Simple as that. That's all you have to do. Literally a three seconds. You send it to him and you'll be featured with 27 other YouTubers raising awareness for no means no. And no means no consent for me is really important to me because I've had issues with my consent being taken away 
on a number of occasions. Um, just my randomness knows exactly um, my feeling on the consent videos. 24 hour countdown before it gets completed. Yeah. 24 hours. So if you want to do a no means no consent video of like two or three seconds, the email address is in the chat bar. Do the video, send it to him before tomorrow, and then he can edit it and it will be up hopefully within the coming days. I can't wait to see it, Juice. I'm really passionate about consent. I had my taken away from me. Um, and I feel that raising awareness to other people, like if you're too drunk, you're stoned, you're asleep, you know, give your consent. Um, and I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, Slippery, if you want to do one, the, the email address is there. You only have to do a two or three second video and then just send it to him. Thank you to everyone who's who's been helping Juice. If you're in my chat and you've sent a video, I did one the other day as well to raise awareness. And apparently I was really natural, which is what you want. You want the video to seem real and everything. And it, it may seem silly, but it's only three little words and they're just no means no. It, it's a simple three letter thing, but it's got such a powerful word, a uh, powerful um phrase behind it and meaning. I think that's why I have trust issues. An ex of mine tried to force himself on me. Well, um, not to outdo you, Emily, in any way, but I've had it three times. Um, Juice, my randomness will know um, this. But um, when I was little, um, I had a relative at the age of 11 um, rape me. And then at the age of um 16 my partner at the time tried to rape me and then um when i was i think it was 20 or 21 the same thing happened again and that's while i was sleeping my partner tried it so i've had um an upwards battle um with three different occasions um one of them i was 11 and i was too young to know the other one i was 16 and he wanted to do it because um i kept him waiting because he was older than me and then the third one was a partner of mine while i was sleeping so. touchy subjects but no to me does mean no when i say no i mean no Hey, Green Hazard, if you haven't already, check out Green Hazard. He is my eldest son. He's in the chat comments. See, this is why I make the video so many people the experience they should know go out being acknowledged. Yeah, I know. The one that happened to me at 11, which was a relative, I actually kept secret for 19 years. Which is why I feel so strongly about this no means no cause. I think it's a brilliant cause to raise awareness for. Yeah, I kept the the one when I was 11 for 19 years a secret. I didn't tell anyone. Yeah, totally unacceptable, best friend. Yeah, I'm obviously an easy target. Yep, yeah, support my son, Green Hazard. He does vlogs and that at the minute he's looking to go to college in September. So he's got like 12 weeks of time to do some vlogging. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do when Juice said about his consent video. I was like in there and really wanted to do it. I felt very strongly about consent. You know. You don't expect a family member to do that. And then I didn't expect to be pushed in to doing it just because I was 16. And then for my partner to do it while I was asleep because he wasn't getting enough was not an excuse either. Yeah, he's going to college in September. My eldest is going to college. Ooh, brings a little tear to my eye. Cheers. Yeah, he goes to college in September. He's now got 12 weeks off to prepare for the real world. 
I suppose he's not still the real world because he's obviously not working, but he does work while he's at college, so he's joining the, the joining the adult world. And it sucks. <laughs> What's he going to study? He's doing sports. He's studying sports. He's just going to sleep every day, what, for 12 weeks? Karen, you meant to be going to the park. Go on, it'll get too late if not. Who sent me a message? Emily sent me a oh, YouTube band. YouTube, YouTube. Thank you, Emily. I will uh, message you in that later. Sports diploma level three because he's a badass. I thought you were doing level two. Yeah, he should be at college for two years, I believe, or a year working really hard, hopefully, you know, slaving away. Preparing for the real world. Because the real world sucks. Stay a kid for as long as you can. Yeah, doing it tomorrow. Do you have a time for that yet, Emily? Do you have a time for that, Emily? Because I, I also stream tomorrow. If I can work it around my streaming. Is that going to be on Hangouts, Em? Is Juicy going to be there? <coughs> Who's going to be there? Is it me and you, Juice and Kate? Because I haven't seen Kate in a while. I don't even know if Kate's all right. I should message her, really. Probably in the morning or after I've filmed. Oh, cool, Emily. Are you filming one of your cord tutorials? Your cord one I want tutorial? Crying Nintendo kid. Okay. Kieran, go to the park, please. Me, myself, and I. I am. So is it me and you? Yeah, you are doing that video. Who's turning up tomorrow? Is it me, you, Juice, and Kate? Kieran, park. Cute. Yeah. Hmm. It's a hope video of a kid getting his Nintendo for Christmas in 89. Ooh. Hopefully. Okay. Cool. Midnight, stop destroying my house. Midi. Why do you, you're sunbathing? Maybe he's sunbathing now. And he cries because he's so happy. Oh, he's such a cutie. Kind of cute when kids cry. Mm. I hope everyone's enjoyed my stream. I've had a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun today. Especially my, my new boots and my new dress. Gotta love the new boots. And I've also got some songs to check out. Songs. I've got songs to check out. I've got Patsy's Hula Hands channel to check out today and check out her goth one. Another video called Nintendo 60. Ah! Oh, that's so cute. These two kids flip the fuck out when they get a Nintendo 64 for Christmas. Oh, my God. I can remember when my boyfriend bought me um, the PlayStation 1 for my birthday. I was so happy. <laughs> I was like a kid in a sweet shop.
Yeah, I was like a kid in a sweet shop. I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. And now I have um, a Wii, a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation 3, a PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 1, a DS. I have loads of consoles now. How long have we been streaming for anyone? Does anyone know? I have no idea. No idea. Have I been streaming for two hours or an hour and a half, maybe? Hour and a half? Maybe? Not sure. I think it's an hour and a half. I think I started streaming about half past one. I don't know how people stream for like eight hours. I'd die. I'd be like, oh, eight hour stream and kill me. Seven hours. Is that your longest stream, Slippery? My longest one is four. I've done four hours before. Um, and that was in the evening. And that was from 6 till 10 p.m. And I had Crimson Fantasy vlog from the bog in it. Um, I think, don't know if you were in it, Emily. I can't remember now. I did like a four-hour stream two hours ago. Oh, cool. So I've been going a while then. Yeah, um, I did a stream before and it was like four hours. There was me, Crimson Fantasy. Um, there was vlog from the bog. And then I think. Either Emily or Chris were in it. Chris Bartram or Emily was in it. So that was maybe a week or two ago that I did a four-hour stream. I'd love to see you do some live stream challenges. Like what? What kind of challenges, Juice? I have just done a beauty tag from Blindly Honestly. She had a 30 question makeup tag that I've just done where I have to answer 30 questions about my makeup style and preferences. I've literally just filmed that one to load up and that's a makeup tag. It's called the 30 question makeup tag. And I got that from Blindly Honestly, if you check out her channel. She has one on there as well and it's just 30 questions um, about... Um, makeup which as you can see i wear absolutely none of so it was worthwhile doing that i'd love to see you do an eating gross thing would you like what what kind of things this is a challenge hi huh, juice love a challenge i did the mystery can challenge before um on my boys channel where we got loads of cans um, and they were mystery and you had to eat them blindfolded. That was kind of fun. I don't know if it's on my son's channel, but we got a load of cans from the supermarket. We took all the labels off and it was stuff like dog and cat. There was one dog food, one cat food, and then there were random foods, um, as long as I'm not allergic to them. And then we took the, the labels off and we mixed them all up. And then one of us would open the can and we'd feed the other two people and they were blindfolded and they had to guess what they were eating. It was kind of cool and funny. Insects or mixing foods that should never be mixed. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. It's something to think about. Insects? Ew. What do you think this is? Celebrity Raven get me out of here. Mixing foods that should never be mixed, like what, like strawberries on toast or something? What do you mean worse? Like um, crab cornflakes. How about that? Crab in cornflakes. I don't know. Marmite pasta. Ugh, marmite pasta. Ugh. Um. We could have hmm, 
Why do you want to see me eat gross stuff, Juice? That's so mean. <laughs> Worse, like chicken and milk or chocolate and lemonade. Ew. Juice. See. Chicken in milk or chocolate and lemonade. Oh, I don't know. Chocolate and lemonade doesn't sound too bad. Chicken and milk. Mm. Okay. I'll have a think, Juice. Haha, <laughs> I'm working on a grocery list. I want to see people suffer. Thank you so much. <laughs> I will try and do one, Juice. How about that? I will try and find a video um, where stuff doesn't mix. Um, hmm. it's, a cool, it's a cool thing to do. I will see what I can do, Juice. I'm sure my kids can think of something gross to do. Tuna and candy floss. Oh. Oh, tuna's horrendous. I don't even like tuna. Ugh. Well, what's your gross... You're working on a gross video. Ooh. Is it as gross as that or is it worse? Have you gone hell for leather on your one, Juice? Have you gone all out gross? The juicier, the better, huh? Or the, the worse, the better. <laughs> Insects. Oh. Wow, you really are starving. You really are starving on Ramadan if you're eating insects. Wow, Ramadan's that treating you that badly, you're having to result to eating insects? Yeesh. I don't even eat fish juice, let alone insects. <laughs> You'll have to come on my stream sometime, Juice. We'll have to do a stream where it's like me, you and Emily. That would be kind of cool. Like an evening stream, me, you and Em. That would be kind of cool to get you on my stream sometime. Get you and Emily in here together. Hanging out. Like a kind of evening stream would be kind of cool. I know you like to get a bit naughty, Juice. Yeah. Need to check out a website called Gothico. Wow, I've got loads of homework today. <laughs> Gothy. Whoops. Hang on. Goth. The O. Okay. Check it out. Okay, I'll check it out. Ooh. Yes, that would be great to do a stream with you. We could talk about loads of topics. Yeah, I'm totally open to any topic, Juice. Absolutely any topic. For me, there is no taboo topics. Gothica has so many cool clothes you will love. Yeah, I usually buy my clothes from everything five pounds or I buy them from Kate's Clothing. Or Killstar. Or my local charity shop has some really nice goth clothes in, to be fair. Or I buy it off eBay. I bought some off Amazon. Being a goth doesn't have to be expensive. Goth can be done on the cheap. But I'll definitely check it out. Definitely check it out for you, Juice.
I did like your hat on you had the other day. I thought that was pretty cool. In the um in the hashtag I'm a creator one, I think it was, or the Uber Goober one, you had that gorgeous black hat on. It was absolutely divine. As you see, I love my hats. I'm actually looking to get more hats as well. Because I'm a hataholic. Yeah, I love wearing hats as well. I have a thing for hats, as you can see. It goes with my outfit, though. That's what I find, that I like hats, and I like to match my outfit with my hat. Wear my hat tomorrow, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, have to wear your hat. Rule 101, Raven Stream needs hat. I hate streaming without a hat. I'm like, Argh. even in my videos, when I do my videos for my channel, I'm always wearing a hat. I've only done like one or two videos where I haven't worn my hat or a hat. Let's say. Which one though? Mm, which one? That is the question. Yeah, I have one, two. I have three hats at the minute, but I want to get more. I have a shoe addiction, as you've seen, Emily, but now I want a hat addiction. Hey, Crimson's in the house. Hey, honey, how are you? Oh, my. Oh, my. Crimson's here. Mm. Crimson, you missed a really naughty stream earlier. Where were you when we were talking naughty in my chat? You missed out. Oh, my, indeed. You missed my stream, Krimi. We were doing a naughty stream earlier-ish. Well, it wasn't me. God started it. I am awesome. I'm awesome. We were talking about um, my new boots. Um, and it got a little blue. There's a level of hotness in the air and I can't wait to get the late night crimson treatment. Oh, I would love crimson. Oh. Oof. I feel I'm hot under the collar. Hot for crimson. Ooh. Is it hot in here or is it just crimson fantasy? <laughs> love you, crimson. I loved your new video as well. Oh. Oh, no, he's going red. We'll fan you down, Crimson. Fan Crimson down. He's got to wear the collar. <laughs> Going to make you blush. I do try, Crimson. Yeah, in my stream earlier, I got some new boots, and everyone kind of made fun of them and then turned it into something saucy. Been on a creative street. You have crimson. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I watched the new one too. Didn't comment, but left a like. Yeah. I need to have you guys on my channel sometime. Crimson and Juice in the same stream. Oh, my. And Emily. Oh, my God. It's like a work in progress. I need, I need the young people. Crimson and Juice and Emily all in one stream. So much creative and hotness all in one stream. Always trying to do lots of stuff. Hey, Stoner's back. Or Stoner's been in the background. Whichever. I appreciate it. I came to a stream when I get the chance. Yeah. Right choice of hat. One Overwatch. Two Jacksepticeye. Oh, it's got to be the Dazzler. Gotta be the dazzler. Chris, it seems like you have totally been lost in creativity. I need to like focus. I feel like I have so many projects going on. Great place to get lost is YouTube or my channel. <laughs> Thanks for coming over though, Crimson. I know you're having like, you know, you're you're all over the place at the minute with your work and, and you're just feeling those creativeness. The pink beanie it is. Yeah, rack on the dazzler beanie. 
I've been watching so much Dazzler's games recently. Um, oh my god, I'm like a Dazzler, uh, like Dazzler junkie. Setting one up to go live in a while. I'm having a great. I'm, I'm having ear. I have a great mashup. Trying to keep it to just one video day. One overboard sometimes. I loaded three videos the other day. Shh, tell anyone. I did a live stream. I did a video song, and I did an actual video. So I loaded three. It's really great and it's like wanking laugh out loud when i create oh my <laughs> oh creamy oh crimson fantasy oh i love your name you are many people's fantasies crimson every time i hear the word oh my now it makes me think of you isn't that sweet <laughs> Hey, the Dutch show. Hi, how are you? Crimson Fantasy, I book end my day with a good work. <laughs> oh, definitely going to have to 18 this stream because it was getting saucy earlier as well. Very saucy, like hot under the collar by God the good one in here. God the good one and Juicy was saucifying my stream. Like a good release. <laughs> you got to schedule it in. Puts people in good moods. Oh, you got to schedule the naughtiness. <laughs> I couldn't even give a straight face saying that. Schedule the naughtiness. Oh, I love, I love his voice. Crimson, your voice is like liquid silk. Patsy's in the house again. Woo woo! Patsy Houlihan is in the house. No, I haven't. Finally starting to get into God of War 4. Ooh, you're playing God of War. It's a good game, Stone. A good game. Cream pie. Oh, my. <laughs> Very British. Cream pie. Shut. Aww. Your voice is, though. I don't know what it is about. Oh, show some love to Crimson Fantasy. <laughs> you like the new look? What new look? Whose new look? Have you ever heard Night Shame's voice? Oh, my God. Patsy Houlihan. Oh, Night Shame. Oh, it's just, oh. He is. Oh, he it's just it's so sexy. Patsy, his 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 voice is sexy. Night shame is like um I'm trying to think how he sounds. Night shame is like um Welcome to the stream, Raven. Raven's in the house, yeah. And he's oh, it's just like oh it's just so good. Just love his voice. God of War 4 is nothing like the original. No. No, I've been I've been playing um Final Fantasy fifteen. It's all right. I'm I'm not overly excited by it. But yeah, Crimson Fantasy and Night Shame have got the two sexiest voices on YouTube, I swear to God. They are just so nice. Have you ever heard Spooky Boo? Spooky Boo, she has a great reading voice. Spooky Boo. No, I've never heard Spooky Boo. All this, look, I literally have a page of stuff. Look, page of stuff that I need to see. So look, yeah, look, I've got songs and people's channels and videos to check out. I've got so much stuff on there. Spooky Boo, no way, that's awesome. I can help you with it. You should be reading books live. He should. What's the new look, Crimson? What did you mean by the new look? Who's got a new look? Who's got a new look? I finished Final Fantasy 15 before they finished Chapter 15. When I find out you gotta play for storyline, 
sick. I'm out. Oh. <sighs> yeah, what's new? What did you mean by the new look? Yeah, I like the new look. Who are you talking about, Crimson? Who's got a new look? You're talking about Red Dead 2. Hey, Paul Michael's in the house. I'm past the train part and have to go into mine, and I'm getting bored of it, to be honest. What do you think of the, the game Detroit Become Human? Has anyone played that? Because I've been looking at it and I'm not sure. Hey, it's Saunas. I can't remember. Short term memory. Yeah, has anyone played Detroit Become Human? It's on the PS4 and I've seen like one other person. I've seen Jackal Gaming play it and I'm just wondering if anyone else has. Yeah, Detroit, what, Detroit Human, Emily. I'd love to play that. I don't know whether I'd like it or not. I've been watching Jackal Gaming play it. Just blurring his channel out there. Jackal Gaming. Woo! Check out his channel. He's actually doing a playthrough, and so is his um his girlfriend or wife. Is um His wife's actually doing a playthrough as well of it. I so want to get the game and maybe stream it if I'm lucky. I might stream it as well. Hey, it's Summers E. Raven, you're so pretty. Well, thank you. No, no, no. Warp Stripe sucks. Crimson, it sucks. Detroit Human. Yeah, I want to play that game. I saw it on Jackals, and I think it's so cool and different. Yeah, I don't like the Warp Stripe thing. Yeah, I couldn't get it. I don't know why it's in there. I mean, it's something new i get that but no i just like the idea of just going up and just slashing people around i prefer the old fighting in it and the spells and everything i don't like that how that is either so there are like tweaks i would make to the game personally but they're trying to make it new they're trying to make it relevant and i'm still still on the on the bandwagon but i'm not so sure I use it now. Warp Strike is good for when you want to get out of danger. Yeah, I suppose you can use it to just quickly move. You like Monster Hunt? I had Monster Hunter on the Wii. That was kind of cool. All you got to do is Warp Strike and everything crumbles like nothing. Okay, maybe I'll have to try and get... I, I mean, I haven't played it for long. I've literally just got it. I've done the tutorial. And I'm now playing a little bit into it. So maybe I need to get a bit further before I start um, criticizing it, maybe. Escape the giant turtle. Giant turtle. There's a giant turtle in there. Yeah, I played Monster Hunter. That was kind of cool. I played that on the Wii. There's obviously mo and the new Monster Hunter out as well, which is kind of cool. Monster Hunt art on Final Fantasy XV, you kill him and get items and money. Oh, it's stupid easy. That was my complaint. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, my kind of games at the minute are like Monster Hunter, I wouldn't mind getting. Detroit Become Human, I wouldn't mind getting. Yeah, they wanted a new audience with this game. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to brand their horizon and try and make it um, kind of now sort of thing. Except chapter 15, which was stupidly long. And once you shouldn't. Once you started, you couldn't turn back. Oh, OK, I remember that. One minute. 
I'm back. Sorry about that. I'm back in the house. Sorry about the phone call. It happens. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. Oh, you're not selling it to me here, Stoner. You're not selling the game for me here. <laughs> very British ringtone. Oh, yes, very British ringtone, me. You know, if there was any more British, my ringtone would be green sleeves, you know. <laughs> or God Save the Queen, maybe, is my ringtone. Yeah, I've got some classical music as my ringtone. I'm very British. I should have a rock green time, but they don't really do one. <laughs> Silly BT. I hope everyone is still here. I know I took a phone call, but it was only like 30 seconds. <laughs> I hope everyone didn't mind. I did mute, so it's just my neighbour. I'll go sort them out later. Yeah, I hope it isn't too anticlimactic, Stone, or I actually do want to play it. <laughs> hope not. I like to think it's good. Cool. Thanks all for being here, though. Let's just check I am unmuted. Yep, I'm unmuted. It was kind of clam. Mm. Well, I'm glad you're all here. It's been a really awesome stream. But at least to the Leviathan fight, that's the most memorable thing for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't really done a lot, to be fair. I've literally done the tutorial, and then I'm literally about to do, like, the first part. I haven't really played any of it apart from, like, the tutorial. So, got loads of good stuff to come. Yeah, I've had, like, mixed reviews. Like, some people have said it's good, some people have said it's not, some people said it could be better, other people liked bits and pieces. Me, I mean, from what I've seen, and I've seen my partner play it as well, and he's actually further than me at the minute, um, because he spends more time on it. Um, but, I don't know, I kind of like the old school Final Fantasy. You know, Final Fantasy VII for me was the pinnacle of Final Fantasy. You fight and warp. Yeah, that's all right. I don't know. I'm just not so sure about it, Stoner. Not so sure about it for me. Hey, Emily. It's been a cool stream, has it? Ooh, ice burn. Ice burning myself because I'm so cool. I hope it's been a cool stream. You know me. What did you think of the earlier part? What did you think of the earlier part, Emily? Are you going to see my boots in your nightmares or in your dreams? See, look. These, these are going to haunt you, going to haunt you, Emily. The dreams we all have of them boots now after hearing God. God, the good one. <laughs> He was funny, though. Did get a bit blue, but it was funny nonetheless. To be fair, I don't mind a bit blue. Blue's all right by me. Oh, hell yeah, we'll never see boots in the same way. No, you'll walk in a shop and you'll go, oh, these boots have to be so long because God the good one says if not, then they have a different name. Still doesn't say that on the box. See that nothing on the box about it. Still doesn't say it on the box. Misled. I miss that stream popping so many people. Yeah, if you watch this video back, God the Good One made some comments on my new boots. 
Very lewd comments on my new boots. Yeah, the first part of my stream was awesome because I got a parcel and I opened it on camera and my boots were in it. And I got some very, very lewd comments on the fact that my boots were knee-high boots. And apparently God believes that they aren't called um, suede at knee-high boots. They're actually called something else. They missed that on the description of my boots. So what cool people do we still have that are chilling with the Midnight Raven? Give me an oh my if you're still here. Give me an oh my in the comments if you're still here. Because I've been streaming for quite a while and there's so many cool people still here. Like Emily's here. Oh my. This old stoner, oh my. Who else is here? The Dirt Show TV, oh my. And Paul's here, oh my. So many oh my, so little time. Wow, we have four awesome people. We have Emily Bird, this old stoner, Dirt Show TV, and Paul Michael Dan David Bain. Wow, could you have any more names, Paul? I don't think you have enough names, to be fair. <laughs> Ever thought of changing your names, uh, your channel's name, Paul, to something maybe shorter? Or something a bit more catchy or fancy? Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to be craving the Midnight Raven, is my slogan. Thank you to this old stoner. Craving the Midnight Raven has become a thing. Oh, what am I doing with my life? Just kidding. And no. What am I doing with my life? I don't know. Watching my Brighton video. Ha ha. Reliving it, hey. Reliving it. Reliving your holiday. I have three and a half weeks till my holiday. You are good at live streams. Keep them coming. Am I? What makes me good about it? What makes me good, Paul? Give me some tips. What makes it good? What makes my stream good, Paul? What are the good things about my stream? In the comments, right down there, what's good about my stream? What do you like? What do you dislike? Feel free to comment, all of you. Oh, yes, and then meet up with Steph again in August. Ooh, bring on August. I have three and a half weeks like on holiday, M, and then I'm going to miss you for an entire week. No live streams for an entire week, the first week of July. Hashtag no streams. Unless I can get my son to stream from the holiday camp for me. They are relaxing and I can relate to you and make us feel welcome. Oh, mwah. Kisses out to you, Paul. Mm. Oh, I'm very relaxing. Oh, well, thank you, Paul. I hope so. You make us feel welcome. I invite everybody to feel welcome in my channel. You always involve people in the stream. I do try to, yeah. I do have people come on my stream as well. I don't have them on very often. Um, quite a lot of people don't want to come on my stream and come on screen, which is fair enough. Not everyone likes to put their face on camera. These are the types of streams I enjoy. Oh, well, thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Your voice is warm and inviting, is it? Ooh. Well, thank you, Dirt Show TV. Uh, it's just the normal voice. I don't see anything special about my voice. Um, not unless you have a thing for British women, I suppose. If you're an American, the British voice could be, keeps catching on my hair, can be somewhat sexy, I guess. I don't know. 
I've been told I'm posh. That means anything. A posh British accent. I don't know if I'm posh. I'm definitely not posh. I mean, I live in a council house. No, nothing posh about that. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, Paul. Kisses for everyone and hearts for everyone. You can all have a heart today. Have a heart. Getting my heart right. No. Fingers aren't cooperating. Hearts for everyone. Bora. I don't hear a British voice in Oklahoma. No, I guess you don't. You sound posh. I'm common as muck. I live in a bungalow. I have a bungalow and I'm common. Common, I'm on a council. I live in a council house in a bungalow. That's me. Council house bungalow. Very common. I don't sound very Norfolk. Um, I actually live in Norfolk, UK, and we don't all sound like this. Um, there are some proper Norfolk people who sound proper Norfolk. If you want to hear what a proper Norfolk person sounds like, I can do a proper Norfolk accent. I'm on common to you. Ooh. Do you want to hear a proper Norfolk accent? There are some farmers around here that do proper Norfolk. And you have to say the words proper. Proper Norfolk. Hmm. See, I sound like this. This is just my normal voice, but there is Norfolk Norfolk. And this is me, Norfolk. And Norfolk Norfolk is farmer Norfolk. It sounds completely different to me. Where are you from, Paul? But proper Norfolk sounds like this. Oh, you've got a combine harvester. You want to see my tractor? See, that's proper Norfolk. That's Norfolk Norfolk. This is me. Norfolk is combine harvester. That's a proper job. See, that's how Norfolk people talk. This is how I talk. And I'm from Norfolk, so. You're from Wee Bunny, Scotland? Oh, I act the new. You're from Wee Bunny, Scotland, are you? I can't really do a Scottish accent. I do try. You're Wee Bunny, lass. Wee Bunny, lass. You're from Wee Bunny, Scotland, are you? Sort of like that. It's probably insulting you now, Paul. I'm sorry. I can't do a Scottish accent. I am indeed. You take the high road and I'll take the low road and I'll see you bye bye in the morning. Something like that. I don't know the words. I just made them up. <laughs> Hello, we're back. Hello there. Bye. Goodbye. Live, live, live. By the way, we've lost that one. Huh? Shit. Can the housemaster. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, you dumb shit. Where's the phone? It's in the box. You did it at the box. You sound Irish, apparently. You can. <laughs> so I can't do a Scottish accent yeah. either. Oh, I can do an Irish accent. Hang on. Good morning to you, lady. My name's Jason. Yeah. Irish accent. Oh! Hang on. I like some pancakes. Um, pancakes. Top of the morning to you, laddie. <laughs> It's half Scottish. Like, Jack it's Jack like half Jack. Scottish, though, Top isn't it? Top of the morning to you, laddie. My name's Jack Stepka. Top of the morning to you, laddie. You, do you, not sound like, you don't sound Irish. I've got no. Irish I do Scottish better. You know. Oh. Scottish is better. You know. I have to do a wee bonny lassie. Wee bonny lass. We're bonny lass. We're, we're bonny Norfolk. Lassie. We come from Norfolk. We're, um. Something like that. We come from Norfolk. We're, um. Pet Norfolk. Prop Norfolk. Oh, you got a combine harvester. I got a combine harvester. You want to see? You want to see my tractor? That's how the farmers around here talk. That's, That's Norfolk with a proper Norfolk. My name's Jack Septicai. Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> what are you doing? That's fine. It's where the hard drive. It takes the warranty off of it. You don't need. It's hard drive closing. I didn't know if you knew that. Hey Caroline, hey Cherie, or Shirai, or whatever your name is, Ericsson. Hey Caroline, 12 be free, how are you? Do 
Do they know I met Jack? Yeah, they do. Yeah, I show them the pictures and everything. Top of the morning to you, laddies. Laddies. Biddy. Biddy, what are you doing? He's having sleep nightmares again. My cat is literally having night terrors. I swear to God. Doing good. I'm doing good as well. Thank you. Wow, my streams had so many people. I'm like, oh, so privileged to have all you people here. Still can't believe I still feel like a dream. Yeah, it will do. I'd love to meet my favorite YouTuber at some point. I don't know if that'll ever happen. It would be nice, but I don't know if it'll happen. If anyone wants to, to, my favorite YouTuber to me would be It's Black Friday. I'd love to meet her. She's like the pinnacle of what I think goths are. It's Black Friday or Toxic Tears would be another channel I'd love to meet. Both of them. They're both girl goths. Would be so cool to meet both of them. If you haven't already, do slap a like on my video as well. And if you'd love to come back once this had gone up, that would be awesome. It would be cool to meet other small slash big YouTubers. My fave is AVGN. Ooh. My favourite is It's Black Friday, who has um, a really good following. She's got like half a million followers, I believe half a million. And then um, Toxic Tears has got like 320-odd thousand, I think. So they're, they're not big YouTubers, but they're fairly YouTubers. They're what you call mid-range YouTubers. They haven't hit the one mil. But they're not under 1K either, so, you know, 100,000. So they're like mid-range YouTubers. They haven't made it as such because they haven't hit 1 mil. But they're not under, like, 100K. So they're doing fairly well for themselves. And I absolutely love her channel. No, I've never met any. I've never met another YouTuber. It's Black Friday lives in Germany. And Toxic Tears lives in Ireland. So no, I haven't met either of them. Unless I plan to go to Ireland um, or go to Germany at some point. I doubt I will meet them. But you, you never know. It's Black Friday. He's always said she'd love to visit the UK. Um, and Toxic Tears would love to come to the UK as well. So you never know. I might meet them. Has any... Um, You've met three. Ah, she's just boasting now. I have never met another YouTuber myself. No, Juice, and I also talk about meeting, but we haven't yet. Oh, Paul, do you live near Juice? Juicy, Juicy. You want to meet Juice? Oh, cool. That'd be fun. The Ben, the Ben, the Bennyfield Bunch. Hey, how are you guys? Thanks for coming by. So many cool people in here today. I'll move a bit. My back is seizing up. Hi, everyone. Coming to my stream. I didn't know I'd have so many of you people here. Doing good. Awesome. No, but he lives in England and we've known each other on YouTube for years now. Oh, bless you, Paul. I know. I love to meet Crimson Fantasy. But he lives in Canada. It's always the good YouTubers that live far away. <laughs> I love to meet Crimson Fantasy and he lives in Canada. But it's something to have a goal for, you know. Set yourself a goal for people you'd love to meet. And you never know, you might just meet them by accident. A bit like Emily meeting Jack Septicai in Brighton. She didn't stalk him, find out where he was hiding or live. I'm joking. She met him totally by accident in Brighton, even though that is where he lives. So that's kind of cheating. I enjoyed Jeanette's stream today too. Yeah, with me. 
The Midnight Raven. I was on Jeanette's stream this morning. It was a good stream. We talked about wrestling and football. Yeah, totally girl stuff. <laughs> that, you were total girls on that channel. We talked about football and wrestling. Yeah, we couldn't be more girly if we tried. Yep, she wasn't stalking him. He was literally getting some sushi. They didn't camp outside the place for an hour waiting for Jack to have his dinner with his girlfriend and leave, but, you know. Only joking, Em. Only joking. It was fun, and I know far too much about wrestling, so if you join in. Me too. Oh, I'm an avid wrestling fan. <laughs> exactly, Emily. Don't tell everyone. Wait, American football. No. Uh, no. No. Uh, soccer. Football. No, not not American football. Not not the American football. Um, it, in America, you call it soccer. We call it football. You call it soccer in America. I don't know what you call it in Canada. I love wrestling. I've been a wrestling fan since I was about three. I absolutely love wrestling. Grew up on it. Watched it every day. Um, I have friends in wrestling as well, which is well cool. My friend is actually a wrestler, and when he finished wrestling, he now um, referees the wrestling. So I have a wrestler friend as well. And Magnus, um, the wrestler, used to live in Kings Lynn, which is just down from where I live. Yeah. You remember Magnus um, from TNA? He actually lived in Kings Lynn in the UK, which is just down from where I live. I don't think so. Yeah, I know. I'm just busting your balls. Well, I'm a girl, so luckily I don't have none. Same here. I was three. Yeah. It's cool that your friend is a wrestler. Yeah, he's a wrestler. And now he's um, a uh, referee of wrestling. I'm a TNA virgin, so no. You don't know TNA? Well, it's not TNA anymore. It's um, changed now. My partner actually goes to work with a wrestler as well. Going live, live, live. Okay, Bronze. You've never watched TNA. Well, it's not TNA anymore. Um, I'm not sure what it's called now. I think it's changed its name now. I'm not sure if it's TNA anymore. Do you watch WWE? The Dirt Show. Is it WWE you watch Dirt Show? I know of it, but never watched one. Oh. Yeah, my partner actually works with a wrestler as well. I have a wrestling friend that lives in London, and my partner actually has a wrestler friend that works with him. I said two. Used to. Oh, okay. You used to what? Used to watch TNA? Used to watch WWE. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't very often watch it anymore. WWE. I used to like WCW and WWF more. I think WWE is too commercialized and that. I used to like the old school WWE, WWF. You know, I don't even mind the NWO, to be fair. Back when it was still WWF, yeah, me too. Yeah, WWF, WCW was kind of cool. Um, it's just all too commercialized now. WWE, but we were entertaining. Yes, exactly. 
and WWF World Wrestling Federation, WCW World Championship Wrestling. Yeah, the old old school is always the best. Love a bit of old school. It's nothing like watching two belly men get in a ring and beat each other up. But like watching a Saturday night in my local city, just in a ring. When they start becoming a public company, that was the beginning of the end. Yeah. All went downhill from there. Well, you know, I have to make money, I guess. My hair's all... Look, my hair's curly now, look. It's all got a natural curve. Look, it's all straight here. And then when you get halfway down, look, it's got a natural curl to it. It's like my hair can't decide whether it wants to be curly or straight. Look, straight. And then the bottom is all curly, look. <laughs> got like a natural curl to it, look. That is without even having any curling irons. It literally is like that all the time. I could straighten it, but I can't be bothered. I've been watching WWE a little and found myself really enjoying watching Braun Strowman, a big guy who moves like a small guy. So your friend still wrestles? Um... My friend doesn't wrestle anymore that I know of. He just referees. But my partner's friend actually wrestles, um, who he works with. So he has a wrestling friend at work who is still wrestling now. And I have a friend that lives in London who used to be a wrestler, um, but now referees. And me, I'm just weedy. I just have weedy little. See, look. Nothing there, look. It's like weediness. See, look. It's like a deflated balloon. Got a little bump there. <laughs> like. <laughs> Got nothing. <laughs> it's a tough business to get into, even tough to succeed. Yeah. Pumping iron. More like pumping Pringles. <laughs> Little tubs. <laughs> How long have I been streaming for? Feels like forever. It felt like it forever the other day, but I hadn't even streamed for that long. And it was like, seriously, I haven't streamed for that long. Like, what? It is a tough business to get into. It's even tougher to stay in the business once you're in there. Getting in is all right, but staying in there, I'll probably be a job if I became a <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh. Cool. Does anyone know how long I've been streaming? I can't find it. I think I've been streaming for like nearly three hours. You'd make a great manager like Bobby the Brain. <laughs> yeah. Three hours. Three. The longest stream I've ever done is four, and that's knackering. Because I have a bad back, see, and me sitting like this hurts all the time. But I do it for you guys. So as I've been streaming for three hours, 
I think I might wrap up the stream here um, and go grab something to eat because it's actually five o'clock in the UK. So it's tea time here. So it's mm, munch time. If that's all right with everybody. Need to get the boys some grub, you know. Rome wasn't built in a day. Four hours is the length of a pay-per-view. Yeah, I've done four hours before. That was a week or two ago. And I was exhausted after doing that. Food time. Yeah, it's five o'clock. Um, I've been streaming virtually all day. I was in Jeanette Pickering's stream. If you want to see me on another person's stream, I was in Jeanette Pickering's stream this morning. So check out Jeanette Pickering's channel. I was on her panel this morning with the Night Owl. So I did a stream this morning. Then I have had a break. And then I've streamed for the last three hours. And I was on Jeanette's for like three hours as well. So I've done like six hours of streaming today. So it's been a long day. Okay. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Dutch to Show TV. And anybody else that has still here been here thank you to juice crimson fantasy god the good one this old stoner stephanie and anybody else that's been in my stream today thank you everyone i will see you tomorrow for another live stream um i don't know what tomorrow's time will be but i'm live streaming tomorrow if you want to check me out so give me a big thumbs up click the notification bell so you know when i'm streaming if you want to follow me on twitter or Instagram, it's the Midnight Raven, so you can check when I'm next going live. Um, I usually go live like five, ten minutes before I actually go live. I post that I'm going. If you haven't already, subscribe and like everyone in the comments. Come back to this when this has gone up and leave a comment would be awesome. If you have any song requests as well, like I said, write them in the comments and I will do um, the song request as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another live stream take care and thanks for watching have a great evening bye guys